severely chapped lips. People who always look concerned, over blinking. You're watching. Is that a freak or someone with a medical condition? Hi, I'm Sally Rogers. All that coming up. But first, let's take a look into a disease that is quite literally, figuratively, taking over the nation. Pap des Tourette's, more commonly known as PDT or TDT. No problem. Tap dance Tourette's is a disease in which sufferers can't help but break out into spontaneous tap dancing. Meet 24-year-old university student Stephanie McMillan. Stephanie suffers from chronic tap dance Tourette's. I was officially diagnosed when I was, uh, I was 17. Um, I kind of already knew, I knew before I was diagnosed, um, building up the courage to book in with a doctor. Probably I can see the symptoms of it from as early as 12 or 13. Um, a lot of these kind of things come about in young age. Certainly at times I feel like a freak. It can be a bit awkward sometimes. People do uh, uh, tend to stare at me. Um, I like this, this one guy staring. Please stop staring at me. And then I did, and then I'd be like, stop fucking staring at me. And then I could go on and be like, I fucking, uh, you know, keep building. But because my reaction is to stare back at them, all I do is kind of open my eyelids a bit wider. So they don't, from a distance, they don't really see that I'm getting more angry. So it's just kind of like, often people don't believe me, like if it's in, you know, a church or at a funeral, or, uh, that just kind of day-to-day -day thing. Fiona, uh, sometimes she gets a little bit, little bit aggressive um, on my behalf, which is, you know, really cute because she's short. I first met her at a singing class. She was atrocious. I'm so glad she found dance. No, I wouldn't go as extreme as changing universities to avoid her. I mean, sure, I might change my timetable after she showed me hers. Steph's syndrome isn't really that dangerous to everyone. No, you just need to know when to look out. Obviously I'm on several different kinds of uh, medication. Meditation, yoga, um, I've tried Chinese medicine, you know, herbal medicine, Japanese medicine, Indian medicine. Well, I mean, she's my sister. I can't change that. I'm kind of stuck with her and her dance Tourette's. Especially when you get pictures of it. Like, can I show, can I show some, okay. All right, so this, this is quite recently. Uh, this is at my grandma's 60th birthday. This is kind of caught in mid Tourette. See that? She has a boyfriend? How did that happen? I guess, I guess Troy was a bit weird at the beginning. Like he was kind of laughing at Steph. Who's Steph? <laughs> no, she's my girlfriend. Oh, no, you just got to keep going on and take every day, you know, one step at a time or one tap at a time. If I saw her dancing, I'd ignore her and I'd be like, I'm not giving you any attention while you dance, okay? Uh, you know, and that way she'll associate it with a bad thing. Uh, I tell her she's sick every day. You know, a lot of people say, oh, Troy, you're such a hero. I'd be lying if I said I never yell at her. Yeah, there have been several times where we've almost broken up. Um because of it, sometimes I wonder if I die alone, you know. Well, I'll do this great joke where I like push her away and I like start chanting freak, 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 freak. And then everyone else will start chanting freak at her. And she'll be like, oh, it's the worst day ever. It was uh, her sister's birthday and we had to like pick up the cake from the bakery for her. And I was, she was like, could you please hold it? Cause I don't trust myself to hold it. And I did this great thing where I wouldn't hold it. And I was like, oh no, you carry it. Uh, I'll f that'll force you to not dance. As it turns out, giving her a cake is not the cure, and somebody's little sister didn't have a birthday cake one year. Yeah, there was no cake in the box, and I was so pissed. There was no cake on my birthday, no cake whatsoever. I was so angry. Sometimes, like, I'll spray her with a, like a, one of those little sprayers, and it's like, stop it, stop dancing. Yeah, so, bit of a legend. Hot babe walks mm -hmm. in, I guess the rest is history. <laughs> Like our relationship, you say that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> our relationship's history. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> he says that all the time. <laughs> 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 
known Steph for about three years. Since yeah. O-Week college, first year. We're very happy to be yeah. very protective of her. Yeah, I, you, I, get, you get quite physical sometimes. <laughs> She I killed a guy. We, we've set up like a little PayPal thing so that like, people can just chuck through like, I don't know, like the price of a cup of coffee or something like that. Unlike Stephanie, some sufferers never actually experience any symptoms, which can make it hard to diagnose. What is evident, however, according to experts, is that tap dance Tourette's is progressing to other forms of dance, such as <laughs> jazz, ballet and crumping. Hello, my name is Dr. Rebecca Jenkins. I am a specialist in Tourette's, in particular in tap dance Tourette's, which is my main focus. Look, it's a, it's a relatively small disease. There aren't that many sufferers to start from, but I'd say that, um, that you'd see at least maybe 100,000 deaths a year. Thank you for joining us on that journey into this fascinating disease. Join us next week for more medical insights.